Moving on, the Minister for Privatization, Finance and Investment and the Area Member of Parliament, Koboko Municipality, Evelyn Anite, with the name of instilling hope in Koboko widows, told them to forget about their dead husbands since she is going to put an end to their misery. Anite vowed to fund projects for these widows under their registered umbrella association starting next month with a startup capital of 3 million shillings. Addressing the gathering, during the belated Women's Day celebrations at Nyangilia Primary School, Anita encouraged the women to attend to antenatal care services and ensure their children remain healthy through immunization. And now, women's groups have implored government to step up its efforts to provide security for women across the country. This was said on Thursday at the post-62nd Commission on the Status of Women Forum held at the Golden Tulip Hotel in Kampala. Speaking at the event, Helen Casey Nwoha, the Executive Director, ISIS Women International Cross Cultural Exchange expressed her dissatisfaction towards the manner in which government has handled the issue regarding the rampant murders and kidnaps of women in the country. Over 30 women murders were reported last year around Bakiso and Kampala alone, yet they remain unsolved as more women continue being kidnapped and killed in the same gruesome manner. A recent case in point is Susan Magara's murder that Noah had described as frightening. It is upon this background that women's rights groups are urging government to prioritize the security of women in the country. In sports news, Stella Chesang obliterated a field of 18 women to strike 10,000 meters gold on a warm night in the Australian resort city which enjoys unlimited sunshine. The champion immediately alerted President Yorim Seveni that she will be knocking at the doors of State House for her share of the monthly stipend which the head of state promised every athlete who wins a medal for Uganda. Stella Chesang ran a race of her life in a spirited finale to clinch gold on the Karara Stadium track on Monday with teammate Maslin Chelengat finishing third to secure bronze. Kenya's Stacey Ndiwa had to settle for silver after failing to catch Chesang in the final 400 meters of an enthralling race. Tim Mechelengat added gloss to Uganda's look on the medals table with her bronze making it three medals for Uganda in this edition. You're still watching New Vision TV and now for Pearl of Africa series, we take a look at Chisizi's history that now attracts tourists. There's no place in Uganda that has grown that popular out of its history like Chisizi Falls. What makes Chisizi unique for tourists is how the ancient site of Hora has turned out to be a monumental tourist attraction weighing visitors from all over the world. Take a look. These beautiful falls lie on Chabamba River a few meters from Chisizi Hospital in Rukunjiri District which borders with Kavali District. The falls are about 30 meters high, dropping water into a gorge. Whoever visits these falls will be covered by mist at least 100 meters away, welcoming you to the falls that have a strong cultural attachment. In the trees at Chisizi flows Chisizi Falls. Its water flows and eventually drain into Lake Edward. Chisizi's note have instilled morals in Bachiga girls who were not married. It is reported that at these falls, unmarried pregnant Bachiga girls could be thrown to their deaths. When the practice was stopped, the falls area became a place of hope and healing as the Church of Uganda established Chisizi Hospital in 1958. She says the false beauty is comprised of many magnificent creatures, such as birds of all sizes and colors, giving you the pleasure of bird watching. Other activities to engage while at Chisiza Falls are sightseeing, photograph experiences, among others. Now, for more Pile of Africa stories, visit our website www.newvision.co. Dot UG slash video and our newspaper the sunday vision is also on the home of adventures so get your copy every sunday for pearl of africa stories
And that's all we had for you. Thank you for watching. Be sure to catch more of your updates on your mobile, on your desktop, on your tablet, anywhere on the go by visiting www.newvision.co.ug. I am Lynn Komjisha.